What's up, CA students? My name is Garrett Podgorski. I'm a senior, geez, a senior in uh, CA students, and I'm going to be doing a daily Devo drop. So get your Bibles. Let's get it, guys. So um, this morning, I've been reading through the whole book of John, and I this morning I read through John 12. So I'm going to read you real quick, John 12, 1 through 8. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus lived, uh, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here's a dinner was given uh, in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among the, those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped, it, wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of the disciples, Judas, who was later to betray him, objected, why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As a keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what he what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Like, this is amazing. Because, so first of all, this, they're having a dinner for Jesus and Lazarus, right? And Mary comes out of nowhere with this perfume that took her literally a year to save up and buy, guys. Like, a year. Imagine working straight for a year and having this one thing that's so valuable and just laying it on the feet of Jesus. Like, literally laying it on the feet of Jesus. And that's what she does. So she lays it on the feet of Jesus. She pours it out and wipes it with her hair, a symbol of humbleness, humility, um... And then the next part that I really find important is that it says the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. So this is just a sign of like how when we give some, everything to Jesus, he'll use it for his good. And I'll get that, I'll get to that later when we apply it. But I just find it so amazing how everyone saw the act of Mary here and how it was just a, a, such an act of humility and honor to Jesus, you know. And then the next part is kind of crazy because we obviously know Judas um, was the one who betrayed Jesus. And Judas says that they should use the money for the poor. And I love this part because Jesus actually drops a bar because he says, you will always, you will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Like literally it, it's giving, it, it's not, this isn't a sign of like, like pride, but it's a sign that look like Mary is doing this. So don't interrupt it, you know? So yeah, that's kind of like the de Devo I took on it, but how can we can apply this guys is that, you know, I, I think we hear a lot of time in church and stuff, lay it all at the feet of Jesus, like give everything. But this scripture literally proves that that is what we need to do. Like give everything to Jesus, you know, a, a day at a time, you know, it's not going to be immediately that we can just give everything to Jesus, you know. Keep working at it, keep working on giving every single part of yourself because Jesus, it says, it literally says in the scripture that Jesus will fill the whole house with the fragrance that you so everything you've given him he will use that to start to start impacting other people around you because that's literally what jesus does he is there to help us get to other people reach out to the community reach out to people around the world like jesus does this and if we lay everything at his feet he will use what we've given him to spread and impact other people and also it's i bet mary just felt amazing after this because she was giving everything to Jesus and she just saw how the effects, saw the effects of it, you know? And I feel like Jesus is going to really open our eyes when we give everything to him. And I'm not saying that some of you haven't. I'm so proud of everyone who has. But for the people who doubt, I just want to encourage you. Literally, we can give everything to Jesus. So, yeah, that's John 12. And I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I'll see you later.